Hey ladies, it's Jamie and welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be all about cropped wide leg pants and you can apply any of these style tips to cropped wide leg jeans. And I wanted to use pants in this video because I think the pants are a little bit harder to style than the jeans and you have lots of different options for lengths in the cropped wide legs. So I'll talk a little bit about that and then I'm gonna show you what to wear and then maybe what not to wear. And for those of you that are not in hot summer weather, I do include some outfits in this video that will go for more cooler weather, transitional season, early fall, and springtime. The biggest question I get is what length should the pants be? And honestly, the industry standard is that a cropped length is anywhere from above the ankle, so right at your ankle, so your ankle is showing, which is considered ankle length, which in the industry is considered a cropped length and then all the way up to mid calf. I would stay mid calf or below. And if you want a real cropped, then that mid calf is really good. If you want a little bit longer cropped, then go halfway in between your ankle and your mid calf, and that works as well. So you are going to see two options here. I have on a pair of petites in the brown that is a 22 inch inseam. To me, it's a tad bit short, in my opinion. I would love it on someone else, but for me, I want it a little bit longer. So the other pair I have on is a 24 length, and I think it's a tad bit too long. So I think if I got a cropped length that was right in between those, it would work perfectly. And I'm saying this because I want you to know my personal opinion, but the outfits that I have created look really good with both pairs. And then I'm gonna show you options that don't look very good. And you will get an idea of what you personally like for yourself and what you want to pair with them depending on your body shape. I am five foot four and I'm a rectangle shape. And so what looks good on me may not look good on you, but I'm gonna give you tips that you can apply and hopefully create some good outfits with a cropped wide leg pant. The first set of outfits are pretty summery, but I really loved these, so I wanted to start off with this because I purchased this off the shoulder top and I put it with the brown pants and it has a little bit of brown and black in the uh, design around the shoulders. And I just thought this look was really pretty for summer. And you can see that the pants here are short on me. And I will make a side note here that Old Navy in their description said that these pants should hit mid calf and they absolutely do. So I think this is the proper length that they were going for. And I do love the top tucked in. This top is very, very loose fitting. And I think tucking it in helped me not look frumpy and was the best option. And then I just added a pair of platforms to give me a little bit more height. And if you'll notice, my platforms are the same exact color of the pants, which I think also helps with just flowing really nicely from top to bottom. And then if you look at the other pants that are a little bit longer, you can see that these are about two inches longer. And I still loved these, especially with the heel because they still looked cropped in my mind. With some of the flats, they look like they might be a little bit questionable that they might be just too short. Um, but I do love the platforms with these as well. So I think either version worked. And then just to show you what the top looked like untucked, I think this option would be great if you were a little bit taller because I do love that it just kind of flows and it's easy breezy, but for me being shorter, it just made me look a little bit frumpy. And I tried front tucking it, that did not work at all. And so I just did a full tuck and I really loved it this way. So for the next version of this outfit, I tried adding a belt because I do love belts now and I'm trying to figure out ways to place them in my outfits. And I feel like with the cropped version pants, since the crop pants were shorter, that the belt just cut me off even more and it did not look very good. But then you get to the outfit of the longer pants and this was one of my favorites. I thought this looked so good and I just wanted you to see how whatever you choose is going to dictate how you style it and it's also going to depend on your height 
And again, I'm 5'4", so I'm a little shorter, and the brown ones are petites. So if you got the regular length, which is a 24 inch, and you're 5'4", that is what it would look like. And I loved the belt option a lot in this version and not in the other version. So I thought I would have some fun and take one of my tops that is not a top that I thought I would ever have a problem pairing with some things, but I really do have to think a little bit about this one. And all it is is a gauze popover top in pink, and it has a pretty deep V on it, but it's long and it's really loose, which is great to me for summertime. And I love pairing it, just leaving it out with my shorts or I'll front tuck it and it does fine. But when I put it on with these pants, since they're so wide and loose, that the top just looked really silly leaving it out. So I wanted to show you this version and I put flats on, which were not the best with these pants, but they will work. And I wanted to show you what happens when you put a little effort in and you style it to make it work. And so what I did was I tucked the top in and then I kept the sandals, which I still think looks good. And then I added a cute print bag and some sunglasses and my hoops. And so putting it all together like this and it, it totally changes the way it looks. So I wanna show you this because I want you to think about what you're doing with the things that you put with the pants. So it's not that you can't wear a top that is loose and has a lot of material like this, but you do have to think about it and style it in a way that looks good. So wanted to show you those two options because I thought it was a pretty big transformation that might cause the style tips here to click with you. Now I wanna show you some versions where you can layer jackets because I do think layering is still a thing that we like to do in the summertime, especially we can carry it with us and put it on when we get into the air conditioning, which is usually an extreme from the outside. And I don't know about you, but I get cold. So I do like having that option. But the first outfit I'm gonna show you is actually one where I just took a easy solid white tank top and tucked it into the pants so any t-shirt or tank top for just an easy run around summer outfit tucked into a pair of pants like this and just throwing on a pair of flats i thought was just an easy way to dress for the summertime and i really did like this version because it is casual and it is just easy going. I think this version is great. And then I decided to throw my linen white utility jacket over the tank top. And I just was not sure if I loved this option because the utility jacket is a little bit longer. And when you look at it a certain way, it looks a little frumpy and then other ways it doesn't. So you tell me, I was kind of up in the air. I wasn't sure about this, but it might be something that I would do anyway. And I did love the flat still with this. So now we're gonna look at the utility jacket with the longer pants because I wanted you to see the comparison here. Because if you think about the rule of thirds where you do one third and then two third or two thirds and one third, so this works for that. And I think that is just better proportions on any body type. And the other outfit made me look like I was cut in half. And this outfit gives me a better one third to two thirds ratio. And therefore it looks better proportions in my mind. And I don't know, you tell me, which one do you like the best here? And do you like the utility jacket at all with this? Now I want you to see when I put on the platforms that are a little bit taller, that gives me a little bit of height with the utility jacket, it does look a little bit better because it lengthens the bottom half of my body and gives me a better one third to two third ratio. And then I tried on the belt and a pair of chunkier loafers with the longer pants. And I loved this outfit as well. And I don't think the belt distracts or cuts me off in any way weird. I think the outfit with being similar colors and very neutral, it all flowed together really well. And this was one of my favorite versions with the utility jacket. So I think this is the best way to make it work. And if you had a shorter pant and wanted a little bit longer jacket like this to work, maybe a denim jacket or something, then adding some height to your bottom half on your feet would actually be the best option as well. Now let's move on to my favorite layering piece, which is a blazer. And I think you guys agree with me. A lot of you have commented that you really love blazers as well. So I wanted to show you 
just a couple of options here. And I did choose a white linen blazer that's perfect for summertime. It's a classic fit. And so I would stay away from anything oversized and anything that's super long. Now my blazer, as you can see, is a little bit longer. It's lighter weight and it fits really nicely. And with it opened up in the front and the white tank underneath, I really liked that you could still see the division of my body. Now from the side, I didn't love this outfit because it kind of cut me off. But if you look at it with the blazer open from the front, I think it works. And another reason why I think it works is because I put on a platform heel. If I did not add any height to this outfit and just wore a flat, maybe a ballerina flat or something, I don't think that it would look as good. And so the next version is actually my favorite. And the longer length pant really worked with the little bit longer blazer. And most of my blazers are this length, so I really wanted to style this and see how it worked and these may not be my absolute favorite way to wear the wide legs but if i wanted the option i do think that there are ways that you can make it work and this one i just put on a nude heel with it to kind of keep with the same color as the pant like i did with the brown version and i also think having all of those neutral colors and a very cohesive look helped this work as well and just remember your shape is different than mine so you may have to choose a different style blazer or do something a little bit differently here but if you are shorter and you are rectangle shape these are the ways that you could make it work one of the most versatile pieces that you can have in your closet for any season is a white button-up shirt. I really think this is one item that can live through all seasons. And I love the oversized look right now. And so I wanted to show you my oversized white button-up shirt with these. And just a side note, if it's a chambray button-up, if it's a striped button-up, whatever button-up that you have, if you wear it buttoned up a little bit and then tied at the waist, it makes a perfect pairing with the wide leg pants. And whether they're long or cropped, either way, I think they look good. And you'll see them here with the shorter version, the 24 inch version and a pair of white sneakers. Just a simple, simple outfit. I think that looks so good. And it looks like you put effort into it by tying it up and it's just, an easy breezy style i think for any time of year and of course i want to show you with the longer version and the sneakers and honestly i still liked it because it's light and bright and so i think either way works and then i wanted to show you with sandals and so the first version and i added a pair of sunglasses just to have fun because this outfit made me think of summer vacation and being on the beach and so i think if you have a button-up shirt that you can throw on with these just tie it up super easy throw on a flat sandal or a sneaker and you are good to go I also wanted to show you with the lighter pants that are a little bit longer, what it would look like to add a heel. So say you're out and about during the day and you have your flats on, but you're going to dinner and you wanna look a little bit nicer, just throw on a heel and it makes a huge difference. So I really loved all of these versions. I d the only way I say not to wear this is just buttoned up and out and front tucked. It's not going to look good. If you wanna wear it as a, over shirt that would work as well but this was my favorite way to do it and i really really loved all of these options now we're getting into the looks that are a little bit more geared towards maybe spring transition or even fall if you had a pair of heavier pants on than these linen pants but i wanted to show you that a pair of ankle boots that stop right at your ankle are a perfect pairing with these pants I just threw on a blue little tank top that I have and put on the denim over shirt and I loved this. I was actually surprised at how much I liked this, but I loved the really short pair of pants with this. I did add the handbag here because I thought it just brought it all together. So I think if you have something fun that you can add since it's all solid colors that you could add a print bag of some kind or a textured bag. 
and even some fun accessories. And then the next version is the exact same thing with the longer pants. And I absolutely loved this one as well. So you can see that either one really does work. The pants end up above and they still expose my ankle. So with the booties that are right at your ankle, I think this makes a great outfit. And you can style all kinds of other tops with them, but I wanted to show you a layering option that was good and I would love to know what you think of these if you got this far. Please let me know if you loved the ankle boots with these. So I have a few more top options that I wanted to show you and I'm showing you them with the shorter brown pants and my platform sandals. But you could do either pant with these and you could probably do a flat sandal, a sneaker, or even a loafer or mule with these if it worked with your pants and your top. So the first one I wanted to show you is the top I have on and this one I think works even though it is very loose and has a dolman sleeve but because it has the tie at the hemline and I can cinch the waist in I think it helped give it some shape and with it being shorter so if this was longer or just hung down it wouldn't work but as you can see this is kind of the same effect you get if you were to take a button up shirt that was longer and tied it at the waist. So I really loved this option. The next option was a pullover sweater. And this one is not super loose on me, but it is more relaxed. So I just front tucked it just to bring the waist up a little bit. If you are taller and have a longer pair of pants on, you probably wouldn't have to do that. But I loved it just front tucking it and I thought this was a great summer look and if you live in cooler climates for the spring and summertime or if you are even in fall you could still do this with a closed toe shoe and maybe even a long sleeve sweater. And then the next one I wanted to show you is a sweater vest and I threw on this sweater vest without anything underneath it because we are super hot here, but you could put on a t-shirt underneath this, tuck the t-shirt in and just let the vest loose and I really loved this option one because it was the perfect length it's a little bit shorter in the front than in the back and so I feel like it actually created really nice shape here and then I do have the platform shoes on but I could do a flat or a heel here and I actually think the more I look at it the more this becomes one of my favorites I hope you found those style tips helpful and will be able to create outfits with a cropped wide leg pant. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And if you want your question to appear in my what to wear Q&A video, put Q&A colon in front of that question and it will appear in the video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys have a great day.